Hello everyone, in this video I show you how to make a custom Louis Vuitton inspired Starbucks cup using holographic vinyl. This is a real simple tutorial, so if you want to learn how I made it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first you're going to head on over to Cricut Design Space and you are going to insert your template for your Starbucks cup. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my video. I show you exactly how to make this. I'm going to go ahead and link that video here as well as in the description down below. But basically in that video, I show you how to get to this step. And I'm just changing the color for visual effect. So now you're going to head on over to Google and search up the LV print PNG. This is the one I'm using here. You're going to go ahead and save that in, onto your computer. And once you do that, you're going to upload it into Cricut Design Space. And now I'm just going to hit the complex option and I'm going to go ahead and clean it up if I need to. I always like to see a preview of it before I save it, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to save it as a cut image and now I'm going to insert it. And basically all you're going to do is lay it over your template. And I usually like to keep at least six characters going up and down, if that makes sense. I find that that is what works best for me. Um, if you want to do more or less, that's totally optional and totally up to you. But I find that six characters is uh, easy to weed versus having more than that. And of course you can have less. But once you do that, once you get, get it lined up how you want it, you're going to highlight both and hit the slice option. And give it a minute. It's a large image. So there we go. You're going to delete this excess. And you can pull up the excess parts here. So I like to pull both of them off. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this excess piece here and head on over to the contour option. And I'm going to zoom in to see it better. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of little pieces that I don't want to be cut. This is totally optional, but if you don't want all these little pieces to be cut into your design, then just go ahead and select them in the contour option and then hit the X when you are done. And you can see that that gives us a perfect space for our Starbucks logo. And very important, remember to Resize this back to the original dimensions. And once you do that, you're going to cut that out. So this is the one that you're going to cut out. So once you do that, you're going to trim off any excess. And you're going to place that on your standard grip mat. I find that this is the perfect way to weed this design out because it'll hold it in place. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this was very tedious to weed out. There's a lot of little pieces, but it's worth it. Trust me. 
So once you do that, you're going to go ahead and roll it off your mat. This will prevent it from curling up. And then using some transfer tape, I'm using Frisco Craft transfer tape. You're going to lay that over your design. And just using my scraper, I'm going to scrape that down. And make sure you scrape down real good because there's a lot of little pieces that need to be attached. And I also like to scrape from behind. And as you can see, it was hard for me to get all of these little circles in between to attach the tape. So I found that the best technique to use here is to scrape from behind and pull off the transfer tape as you go. And this made it so much easier. So once you get about halfway done, you can go ahead and place this over your Starbucks cup, make sure that it is clean. I went ahead and rubbed it down with some rubbing alcohol first. And then I go ahead and trim off the excess transfer paper. And again, scraping from behind and pulling the transfer paper off. So again, just using my fingers, I'm able to attach the vinyl onto my cup. And I like trimming off the excess transfer tape. This makes it easier for me. That way you don't have a lot of transfer tape to work with and you can just work in sections. And that was basically it. This is a look at the final product. I love the way this turned out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I would love it if you subscribed. Also, comment down below any video suggestions that you want to see. I look forward to reading those. Thank you guys so much for watching.